Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to compare Mars Hydro hydroponic system with Aero Garden Harvest. I am not getting into the technical details. I just want to show you how they work practically. I have both these gardens set up and ready to go. For this experiment, I am using radish Saxa 2 variety. These radishes uh, should be ready in 21 days. Let's see how do they work in these two gardens and do the side by side comparison. I am placing one seed in each pod and start with all pods. This Mars Hydro has 12 pods and I am using all 12 pods. Following the same in Aero Garden as well. That's it, the gardens are ready. I am not adding any nutrition at this point. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. I will use Aero Garden nutrition in both gardens. Look at the pump running in Mars Hydro. It pumps water on both sides. It's day 3. I got pretty good germination in Aero Garden Harvest. This seedling is struggling to push the roots down. I'm going to open up the sponge and push the roots down so that it can grow well. One seed stunted here. I'm going to replace this seed. Coming to Mars Hydro, I got pretty good germination here as well. But uh, the sponges that came with Mars Hydro seems to be pretty hard and the seedlings couldn't push the roots down. Every seedling is struggling to push the roots down. Looks like these sponges are pretty hard. So I'm going to help these seedlings. I will open up the sponge a little bit and push the roots down. That way the plants can grow nice. I see very few seeds stunted here. I'm going to replace these seeds as well. It is very easy process. I'll show you one seedling. So you can see the seedling just came out. None of the root went into the sponge. So I'll just tear it to open it. Sometimes we need to tear more depending on the root but here the seedling is not that huge. The root is not that huge on the seedling. So that's it. Let's put it back. I'm going to repeat the same thing on remaining seedlings. Fixing the seedlings in Aero Garden as well. So here are the seedlings after a little bit of hard work. Hopefully they are good to go now. It's been four days. The seedlings are coming nice. Now that the seedlings are growing nice, I'm going to start adding nutrition. For a six pod Aero Garden harvest, I will be adding 8 ml of Aero Garden nutrition. Since Mars Hydro has uh, 12 pods, I am going to add a 16 ml of nutrition here. It's day 6. The plants in Aerogodon Harvest are growing very nice. One of the latest uh, seeds that I replaced also germinated and uh, the seedling is coming up nice here. The seed germinated here but it is struggling a little bit to come out of the sponge. Let's see where this will end up. The seedlings in Mars Hydro is also growing very well. Now I have seedlings in all pods, so it is all going very well so far. I am still concerned about the minimum light height which is 1 feet. This is too early to say anything about the plants being leggy. Let's wait and see. It's day 10. 
The seedlings in Mars Hydro are coming very nice. Now I have radishes growing in all 12 pods. And these are the seedlings in Aero Garden Harvest. I see little bit of swelling on couple of seedlings. So the radishes have started growing already. I don't see any signs of swelling yet in Mars Hydro. So they are running little bit behind. It's day 12. I see nice little radishes in Aero Garden Harvest. Coming to Mars Hydro, I see one cute little radish here. Other plants haven't started developing radishes yet, but I see a little bit of swelling on pretty much all the plants and they are going to get some radishes pretty soon. Let's wait and see. It's day 17. I see four nice radishes growing in Aero Garden Harvest. Coming to Mars Hydro, I see a couple of baby radishes now. These radishes are not as big as the radishes growing in Aero Garden, but they are coming up. They are coming slow, but I'm pretty hopeful I will get radishes here as well. It's day 18. I see a couple of nice radishes in Aero Garden. I see four of them. I can even harvest these. This is the standard size. Coming to Mars Hydro. I see a bunch of radishes but they are at baby stage. They are definitely behind compared to Aero Garden but they are coming up. I am really worried that the light is far away from the seedlings and the seedlings may get leggy but I didn't see that problem. The plants stayed low and started producing radishes. Pretty good progress so far. It's day 20. The radishes in Aero Garden are almost ready. One is pretty big and uh, four of them are decent size. Coming to Mars Hydro, I see a lot of radishes are a decent size. So I think these radishes in Mars Hydro are going to take a little more time. But the radishes in Aero Garden are ready. I am going to harvest them in a day or two. It's day 23. I see pretty nice radishes in Aero Garden Harvest. They are pretty big. Coming to Mars Hydro, I see a lot of radishes ready here as well. They are not as big as the radishes in Aero Garden Harvest, but they are in pretty decent size and they are ready to harvest too. So at this point I can say that the Mars Hydro worked very well, but not as good as the Aero Garden Harvest based on the size of the radishes. It's day 24, the radishes are ready. They are a day over the maturity time anyway. They are quite big and they are ready to harvest. So I am going to harvest all these radishes now. I am going to harvest all the radishes from Mars Hydro as well. I think they have potential to grow a little bit. But uh, I am going to harvest them now. First I am harvesting the greens. I will be using the greens in my cooking. Once we harvest the greens, it is easy to harvest the radishes. Now I am harvesting the greens from Mars Hydro. Look at all these greens. That's a lot of greens and very good for my cooking. Now let's take a closer look at radishes. These are the radishes in Aero Garden Harvest. They are pretty huge. 
Now coming to Mars Hydro. These are the radishes. I see seven pretty good radishes. Rest of them are not really useful. Now I'm harvesting the radishes, starting with Mars Hydro. Looks so beautiful. Wow, this got stuck. Oh, this got broke up so badly. I don't think I can eat it. Right here they are from Mars Hydro. Now I'm harvesting from Aero Garden. Here is the side by side view of the radishes from Aero Garden and Mars Hydro. So definitely the yield from Aero Garden harvest is much higher and much better compared to the yield from Mars Hydro. I think if I keep these for another four to five days, they might get big. But keeping the radishes longer will get more spicier. I couldn't eat them. So I prefer to harvest the radishes when they reach the maturity date. Overall, the results are not exactly same, but they are pretty close. The price of Mars Hydro was $125 when I bought it. But now I see it for $81. So I think it's worth at $80. If it goes further down, it will be worth the price even better. One very good design I just found with Mars Hydro is the attachment of the bowl. I just realized it as I took it out for cleaning. The power outlet is built into this bowl. So it is very easy to take it out and clean it. Whereas in Aero Garden, I have to disconnect the cable first. Even with IDO, I have to detach the light panel if I want to take out the bowl. This is not a big deal, but I found Mars Hydro is very convenient as I clean the bowl once in every 6 weeks. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Happy Aero Gardening and Hydroponic Gardening.